Hey guys and welcome to Scuba Travel and Adventure. My name is Thomas and in this short video I will show you how I have mounted my GoPro on my helmet. There's a lot of different videos, uh, everybody does it differently, but I, I tried so many different setups and I was not ever happy with the way the GoPro was mounted. So I found on Amazon one of the GoPro chin strap mounts which run you around $15 Canadian. I'll link all the stuff in the description if you want to go ahead and do a similar setup. I will also show you a picture right here um, how, what to look for and how does it look. Unfortunately I never thought about making the video on that. Um, actually it's a good thing I didn't because um, there was quite a few tweaks uh, before I got it uh, where I want it. So in this case, I can pretty much just describe uh, how I proceeded with the whole, the whole setup. Anyways, to make the story short, that's pretty much how big was that uh, mount with the chin strap. And on the sides, there were straps to, to wrap around the front of the helmet. They were going right through and on the bottom and there were clips to clip everything together. I didn't like that whatsoever, especially that it, the Schubert uh, C3 Pro it's a modular helmet. Uh, it wasn't how I was gonna to mount it, but I had an idea after I saw that item that I can actually probably customize it. If I screw it up, it's not gonna be a big deal. It's only 15 bucks, right? So it was the way to do it. So anyway, so what I have done uh, with this piece, I've cut off all those corners, including all the straps and uh, loopholes, and I left just the certain center piece uh, basically with the mount in the middle. So this is just a rubber, uh, silicone rubber that was underneath that, but, but that's the shape of that whole thing. After I did all that, I used the Dremel tool to cut those edges, of course, and then I used the heating gun to warm up that whole plastic and form it into the shape of the helmet. As you see, it's uh, rounded in the front. And as I mentioned earlier, this application will work most likely with a lot of other helmets, as long as you don't have that big grill of um, adventure helmet that's uh, meant for dirt biking or, or off-roading. Um, I still have the vent on the front here, which is fully functional because it's just below it and it's got that little V-shape and uh, it works perfectly. As you see, I have also added the little extension. It's a short extension that moves the camera uh, mount to the front or to the back so you can adjust the angle on it. Down below, I mounted the microphone adapter for GoPro. I'm using the GoPro Hero 8, so it has to use that uh, GoPro adapter. So basically, it's holding with two crisscross tie wraps and it's solid it's not moving anywhere left or left or right it's uh, it works perfect so the final part how i mounted here the gopro to the helmet i cleaned the surface and i sanded off the not the helmet just the bracket itself um, the mounting bracket itself i sanded off with a very fun fine sandpaper i have used two of those 3M GoPro mounts on top of each other stacked up. So that gives you a little bit more thickness and cushion and it will absorb more of the vibration so the camera will not vibrate uh, while you're riding. Basically it has an image stabilization but that will give you a little bit more of the flexibility for camera movement and shaking. After I have sanded everything, I cleaned the surfaces with rubbing alcohol and uh, wait, make sure it's all nicely dry. I press it firmly and for a few minutes, uh, I don't do a very short time because you want to make sure uh, you apply the pressure on those 3M for quite a, like, I don't know, two minutes probably is gonna be just fine, but uh, you gotta press it firmly uh, in a warm environment this way that will seal nicely to the helmet and you shouldn't have any issue of this coming off the helmet. I bought on Amazon, I don't know, I don't remember because I had this microphone for quite some time, it just uh, was set up a little bit differently, but uh, it's a YouTube vlogging microphone that comes with a very long cable and what I have done, I've cut that cable here 
and I resoldered everything onto the connector to make that cable shorter. And if you see down below, it's routed right here and it goes under the curtain and it goes on the opposite side from my Senna, which is mounted on that side. So I have one microphone on the left and the GoPro microphone for vlogging on the right. And it's kind of um, just glued on. Well, not really glued on. I just used, used the Velcro and uh, Velcroed it to the chin uh, right here in on this side so there's two microphones on the front of the helmet it works great uh, the sound is pretty good you have not much of a wind noise because it's all inside the helmet there's other options probably to set up the gopro with the vlogging kit uh, that gopro offers now uh, i think that runs you around a hundred dollars canadian but uh, that doesn't uh, that, that didn't cut for me because that still doesn't give you much of a protection on your gopro because the gopro for example hero 8 at least uh, has the non-removable lens so the old gopro lenses uh, you used to be able to take off and replace if you broke the glass in the front but those ones here they stay uh, they moved back to that new that old design on a gopro 9 which is also with the display in the front uh, that's a uh, good for GoPro finally they because that that year unfortunately they messed it up and if you break that glass it might be pretty expensive to get it repaired so instead of the GoPro vlogging case I have found on Amazon one of the GoPro dive cases and I've been using those cases uh, actually for diving since uh, my channel has content both for diving and adventure riding anything travel related so I have different type of those cases that I buy for underwater uh, video and they work good even though they're quite cheap some of them they will run you like between $16 some of them the, uh, the OEM ones or the factory ones they will run you to about $60 uh, but those cases, uh, even if you want to use for diving, uh, they were great. Uh, they don't leak. Uh, I tested them myself and you can buy the little filters uh, with a different color correction, but that's a different topic uh, for underwater shooting. So this is not what I want to talk about. So basically what I've done with this case, I took a Dremel tool and uh, in a door here, I've cut out the opening as, as wide as I could. This way it allows me to control the GoPro uh, touch features right on the screen. And at the same time, it prevents the GoPro from overheating. And for third, it has the lens in the front that protects your GoPro just in case if you hit the rock on a trail or anything like that, or even just riding on a road uh, behind a car, you can have a rock shooting or directly into your camera and that's it you lens a shot so on the side i also use the dremel tool to cut out the small opening here for the to route the cable for usb 3 and um, i tried to make it as tight as possible and it fits actually pretty well so basically i just took the um, sharpie and i marked the circle around the connector actually on a microphone adapter and, and then I cut out the whole opening uh, for the connector to go through. I will show you how it looks on the helmet and uh, how the connector and everything looks uh, once you put your GoPro in there. So what I have done on my GoPro, I also bought a door here that has an opening for your cable to come out, uh, to connect to the microphone adapter. Uh, the original door, does, it's just closed, it doesn't have anything like that. So that's made by Ulanzi and it's a good addition if you are planning to vlog with your camera. So now I will show you how that looks on a GoPro, uh, on, a, on a mount with the helmet, with the GoPro already in and the cable just fixed perfectly right here on the side. So looking on the angle here, you see it gives you the flexibility of moving the camera and position however you want it. And I usually don't use the monitor on a camera when I'm filming, but you can because I do see it uh, from my helmet. So I can use it, but I never use, I always use the uh, GoPro app on my phone, uh, which is located right on my 
uh, console above the gauges um, on a camo mount right uh, where I have my mount and my phone. This way I can quickly access all the feature and press the record button or whatever, just much easier than monkeying around once you're having the gloves on with the button on the camera itself. And it works uh, quite well. So you can bring the camera, depend, like it depends on your position, like as you see, and it's not blocking the vent. You can still open and close the vent and it is a modular helmet, so nothing is in the way here. It fits perfectly and uh, I'm pretty happy with that setup if that's something you interested in and if you will be struggling you can always uh, ask in the comments I'll try to answer any questions you may have uh, regarding this uh, setup I'm gonna try to one more time maybe to focus everything so you see here is my uh, center mic and right inside the chin on the velcro there is a vlogging mic uh, installed right there and you can open and close the module or helmet without any issue so since i'm talking about the helmet setup my, might as well mention the helmet itself i had a couple different helmets in the past uh, my first helmet was scorpion and that's a exo 500 model and it was a pretty, pretty nice helmet. Once I got my adventure bike, I wanted a modular helmet. Uh, there's so much more comfort with those. And before I actually purchased this guy here, the Schubert, I was using the HJC uh, modular helmet that you can see uh, on my previous videos and the previous trip, uh, even like two years uh, ago, down into British Columbia, Canada and uh, also into Utah. Uh, you can check out the videos uh, right in my playlist if you're interested uh, to have a look. Um, but uh, one of my friends um, got the Schubert helmet and uh, one on one of the trips, I had a chance to try it out and I was just amazed how comfortable that helmet was and uh, and how quiet it was inside comparing to all the other helmets. And at the same time, um, the weight of the helmet itself, it's, uh, it's a huge win with the Schubert. Uh, the weight is uh, pretty much not noticeable comparing to all the other helmets. The other helmets always gave me on the longer ride a little bit of a neck pain. Um, I'm not sure if that was just the helmet fitting or just the maybe the weight of the helmet but it's not or it's not that heavy really but uh, i felt the difference right away after i've used the that schubert brand and uh, i gotta tell you um this is not really an adventure helmet uh, i don't really care um, it served me well off-road as uh, as much as on road and um, it has a shade built in and everything else and it's quiet which is a big big plus and I chose those reflective colors. Uh, pretty much most of my riding gear uh, is using the yellow. I like to stay visible for safety. Uh, I have family and um, I like to get home safely. And uh, the more visible you get on the road, the better you, uh, the chances of getting back home safely. People can see you on the road. Right now I'm using a Alpine Star Dry Star uh, riding gear which also has uh, that fluorescent yellow sheen and uh, I'll be looking for the new jacket pretty much uh, this season so um, I'm thinking of getting a Ruka or Climb I want to also stay with those uh, bright, bright color inserts uh, just for the visibility especially sometimes we are riding at night and uh, the more visible you are the, the safer you are on a bike as well it's not only about you, it's, only, it's also what the other drivers see um, in front of them, right? So you, the more you vis visible you are, uh, they see you quicker. So anyway, so if you found this video helpful, um, I will link a lot of those parts uh, down in the video description. If you want to follow this, um, this setup, you can go ahead and um, I, this is just my idea that I came up with. I um, didn't see that anybody doing this yet. A lot of different setups with building up uh, with cement and 
all kinds of setup but I didn't want to destroy my helmet this way I'm still using the 3M and if I want to take it off it's very easy no damage to the helmet just uh, take the GoPro off apply a little bit of heat with the heat gun or a blow dryer and that will come off like nothing and you will have no marks whatsoever that uh, anything was mounted in there and no damage as you didn't use any harsh chemical glues like a JB weld or anything like that I'm still using the regular GoPro mine I did mention my Sena 30k I made a video a while back about uh, Sena and the compa compatibility issues with Cardo I also made a video how to pair that uh, intercom uh, with different uh, with different uh, devices that you might be using on the road such as the GPS phone or other um, comm systems I tell you right now if I had to buy another comm system I don't think it would be Sena I would go with the Cardo Pactock Bold um, this is uh, much nicer even though I did mention this is a good unit the problem is uh, this is not a waterproof unit but I did ride in a lot of rain never had any issues but Cardo is uh, waterproof and it comes right out of the box with the better speakers uh, on my uh, Senna I have upgraded the speakers uh, to the actually Cardo speakers the JBL uh, speakers so now the, the Senna sounds awesome but um, again you pay so much money for your uh, Senna and you're still adding extra for your speakers if you want to upgrade that's something to keep in mind when you are pairing with Senna only no major no major issues but as soon as you're trying to pair with the different intercoms or com systems however you want to call it you're losing some features on your device itself so you don't have the same controls I made a video separate about it so you can have a look I'll put it on the end card and um, you can watch it and um, see for yourself uh, that's my observation I've been using Senna for quite some time and um, I am happy with uh, with the unit but if most of my, my friends would not use Senna I would definitely not go with Senna I would go with uh, with the car I just wanted to share with you uh, how I mount that GoPro on my helmet and if you found it helpful in any way hit the like button any comments are always welcome down below I'll try to answer all of them uh, browse through my content I have lots of uh, video tutorials um, from uh, maintenance of the of the Honda Africa twin a lot of rides that I'm sharing with you um, pretty much regularly week after week uh, sometimes I, I throw in the content from scuba diving don't get discouraged by that it's a dual content channel basically anything travel related so thank you for watching and see you in the next video cheers